Okay, and we're rolling and action. Just go ahead when you're ready. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I've just been bat mailing on my bat phone. Yeah, can you just do the line, please? I am Batman. No, the other line. Oh, right. I'm supposed to say some baloney about how you shouldn't click that skip button. Yeah, the sooner you do that, the sooner we can show people the trailer for the Lego movie. Ah, fine, 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 fine. Crank up those subwoofers, dude, and check this out. Good morning, apartment. Ready to start the day. Jumping jacks, hit them. One, two, three. I am so pumped up. Yes, overpriced coffee. That's $37. Wow, awesome. Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song. It's cool when you're part of the team. Everything is awesome. Ah, no, guys, wait up. Where am I? Come with me if you want to not die. What is happening? You're the special. And the prophecy states that you're the most important person in the universe. That's you, right? Uh. Yes, that's me. Relax, everybody, I'm here. Batman? Awesome! Who are you here to see? I'm here to see your butt. Oh my gosh! Uh, ow. Wham! <laughs> First try. My fellow master builders. Hello! Lord Business plans to end the world as we know it. There is yet one hope. The special has arisen. I know what you're thinking. He is the least qualified person to lead us. And you are right. A house divided against itself would be better than this. Abraham Lincoln! I'm not the special. I'm just a regular, normal guy. You have the ability to be the special because I believe in you. Destroy him! Aloha, loser! We're winging. It's a bad pun. Take him to the melding chamber. Isn't there supposed to also be a good cop? Hi, buddy. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah, actually. Too bad. We are entering your mind. What? I don't think he's ever had an original thought. That's not true. Introducing the Double Decker Couch. So everyone could watch TV together and be buddies. That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let me handle this. That idea is just the worst. To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! Dang it. I love Legos. And one of the things I love about this new trailer is that the sets, particularly at the beginning of the trailer, the city scenes, don't seem like they're built by a Hollywood production designer, but by real Lego builders. People like you and me, who just love the toy and want to play with it. Uh, and I just think that that passion is really coming through on the project. For instance, I, I read that one of the directors, the co-directors, uh, used an actual Lego playset that he'd built when he was a kid, like of a space village, and that will be featured in the movie. And I just think that's phenomenal. I'm very excited for this movie. I really like the wit that's coming through, uh, and that they're not pulling their punches because it's supposed to be an all-ages movie, which I think a lot of people, you know, I don't know why, are starting to do these days. Uh, but, and I'm also excited for Chris Pratt. This is very big for him. I think 2014 could be big for him. He voices the lead character not only here, but he's also, of course, the star of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so if he plays his cards right, he can no longer be Mr. Anna Faris, uh, but I'm sure that they are a very happy couple. But the, I will say, though, I showed this trailer to my mom last night and, first of all, won her over. First trailer, she was on the fence, but now she's like, I'll go see that. Uh, but she thought it was Andy Samberg doing the voice. So <laughs> Chris Pratt's publicist has some work to do, and Andy Samberg, you know, uh, how the mighty have fallen. Although I do like his show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, even if pretty much nobody watches it. So it's pretty good. Uh, so. This trailer, but also another thing I like about it is Batman. I'm a big Batman fan. I'm all about Batman and the X-Men. I think Will Arnett is killing it with the voice. Although, I guess they're saving uh, Superman uh, by Channing Tatum for the movie, but I'm glad they're saving something for the movie. I'm getting so nervous that with this trailer, the first trailer, and all the character teases they did to lead up to this trailer, that I might have seen all the good jokes in the movie. Because I don't know, this isn't like the 180 minute Scorsese cut of Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, I know this movie's only gonna be about 90 minutes, and so stop showing me stuff. I mean, I'm ticket is sold for me. I don't need to see anything else. This comes out in February. I think they sh I don't know what, I don't know, I think they might have just, you know, gone too early. I don't know what's gonna be left to keep people enticed. Uh, but, you know, as, as far as seeing too much goes as well, I would say 
all this Batman we're seeing in the trailer, is he a major character in the film, or are they just pushing so hard to use him to sell the film, they're showing me all of his scenes? Because if they're showing me all of his scenes, that would anger me when I went to see the movie. I mean, I'm hoping there's Batman stuff left, because I do like the jokes a lot that they're using. I think they're really, really good. And it's funny, though, also to see how heavily Warner Brothers is leaning on their DC characters here. Uh, I mean, Lego makes a lot of play sets, and I like a lot of the references in the first trailer, you know, when they're introducing everybody in that, like, arena where Morgan Freeman is talking. There's other jokes to be had here. Uh, the Abraham Lincoln one here is good. But they might be really trying to sh play off of everyone's, you know, desire to see a Justice League movie, and they're like, well, that's so far away live action, let's kind of, like, cheat a little bit and get some benefit from doing it Lego style. Uh, so... Come on, Warner Brothers, you just, you just can't milk, you can't, you know, you're going to bleed the whole DC character lineup dry before you even get to your Justice League movie. Uh, but I do, I do really like the trailer. I'm definitely going to see it. As I said, I don't want any more trailers for this. I'm very, very nervous at this point about what I've seen. Uh, perhaps I've seen too much. But what I've seen, I have loved. So I'm definitely going. My mom's going. Is anybody, I wonder if you guys are definitely going. And also I'm wondering... How about 3D? Will you see this in 3D? I feel for sure, because it's Legos in 3D. You know, animation works great in 3D, especially this is going to be perfect, because I would love to see some Legos fly in my face that would not actually hit me. So, uh, very good trailer, very well done. I think this is a great movie, and I think that uh, Lord and Miller, the directors here, are phenomenal talents. Uh, they're also behind 21 Jump Street, and uh, I hope, that, I'm sure their agent, I hope he's lining up, he or she is lining up lots of projects for them to capitalize on the hype for this movie, uh, and maybe they'll even, maybe they should make a Justice League movie, a Justice League comedy movie. Uh, <laughs> better than the comedy of errors that DC has been producing so far. They might as well just make an actual uh, comedy. All right, so that's my review of the Lego Movie trailer, the second one. Write your own thoughts down below what you think of it, and you can check out these other episodes right now.